Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the OmniFlash channel, where OmniFlash will take gaming to the next level. My name is OmniFlash, and I am your guide to Diablo Immortal. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this amazing new build. This is the Monk Fighter build that is focused on a bicycle kick, all right? A seven sided bicycle kick and it's so freaking awesome you can erase a full team in just seconds and we're going to show you that in just a second we'll go through a how to use this build the point, reason why i don't call this an assassin build like my other video is because with this your seven sided strike will also give you a shield this extra shield makes you tankier allowing you to take more hits and allow you to um, deal more damage as well as the seven sided strike itself is an iframe so you can actually block all damage while you're using the seven sided strike now this is a battle between uh their team is actually pretty strong they are immortals you have Sinvictus, which is 6950 res dash which is 6224 res dataham 5000 and six res tech x is 5700 res and my team is uh pretty small i mean i'm big 60 uh 69 60 uh 58 slayer only 2400 res salty 3500 res and lord revan 1690 res so as you see The seven-sided strike pretty much just erased the health bars on their team. It also, I mean, it like I saw crit numbers. It was like 120k damage, and that was only one of those hits. And this is this is absolutely just insane the amount of damage that it does. And it's and it's funny. It's funny. It's funny to use. It reminds me of Mortal Kombat. Of course, uh, my teammates were doing an amazing job. Uh, they were also monks. And uh, Salty was a wizard, ice wizard, locked them down also. So definitely you will have to have good teammates, but they don't have to be super high res. But this build, uh, as I've shown you, is very powerful versus a uh, much higher res team. I know that they do have uh, Immortals kind of suck as <laughs> Immortals, the badges, I mean, the, the buffs that Immortals have do kind of suck. So that may be partially the reason. But they did have Gladiators. I did see them popping their Gladiators. So they did have Gladiators. So, all right, let's talk about the actual build now so I showed you how effective it was just one kick and it races the, the HP points of like the whole team and that would be because of mystic strike we're going to use mystic strike and um, the essence that we're going to use is fate alight fate alight shoulders all right so that will cause your next attack to deal 57 percent more damage so you would want to initiate with shield of zen fate alight mystic strike in then use your seven sided strike we also have the pants uh, called traveling scold traveling scold pants this will cause your mystic strikes to knock people up so you want to have both fate alight shoulders and traveling scold pants and after you use your mystic strike your next attack would be the seven sided kick seven sided strike all right and you will want to use the essence you want to use is called pugilist presence pugilist presence and that's a main hand pugilist presence main hand will cause your uh seven sided strike to uh, be all in one direction so it's a sort of like a seven-sided kick you will also want to use the chess piece called budding anew budding a new chess piece will give you a shield so during your seven-sided strike you will be pretty much invincible it's an iframe then after you come out of your seven-sided strike you will also have a shield 
So this is incredible. You'll be able to dodge damage. You'll be able to uh, also have a shield to sustain after you get through and deal some damage. And uh, if you need to, you can escape, heal up, and re-engage. Shield of Zen is just absolutely amazing. You will have the hat. The hat would be called Pensive Crown. Pensive Crown will make it so that your Shield of Zen will last 30% longer. Next, you will use Flying Kick as a sort of like a knockback in order to keep your enemies juggled and knockbacked so they're not able to use skills. Twitching Palm is your offhand. It's a very good offhand. Whenever you punch using your Fist of Thunder, that's, that will be your main attack, Fist of Thunder. The Twitching Palms will let out um, electricity, which will hit enemies around. So giving you an AoE, uh, making your Fist of Thunder an AoE attack. Set items that I use would be six piece gloom set. Six piece gloom set works really good when I have a chip of stone flesh uh, five star legendary gem. Okay, so if you have a chip of stone flesh, a six piece glooms is actually really good. That fear will proc uh, that gloom set. Now, again, a six piece glooms is probably going to be pretty difficult, so you can use two piece vithus and four piece glooms as well. That's uh, That's not really that bad. So the kick, the uh, Simicide Strike kick, is actually extremely powerful. It will also knock back your enemies and sort of knock them back and push them backwards. During those knockbacks, they're not actually able to attack you. They're, they're being juggled. And with now, with two shields, it's every time you use a shield and you engage somebody, whenever they deal damage to you, it's like it's like having more HP. It really is. It's like having heals. So whenever you you attack someone, they're all they're doing is they're taking down your shields instead of your real HP. It provides a lot more sustain uh, for your fighting style. <clears throat> I I think it's it's a very nice way to get into the back line, right? Now the kick will actually move you straight into their back line. So it's if you wanna if you want a fighting style that will allow you to dive the back line while doing a ton of damage. This would be it. This is a super fun build, and it's just as mobile as a Shimmerlin build. Maybe a slightly more mobile because your Seven Sided Strike also is a dash. Plus, it gives you an iframe, something that a Shimmerlin build may not have. Also, it also gives you an extra shield, making you slightly more tanky. So, I, I really think you should try this build out, and uh, you decide whether this build is better or the assassin monk build is better. The assassin monk build is just using uh, the palm and also mystic strike plus shimmerlin to deal the most damage. But I, I really like this build. Uh, it, it's different, diff different play style. However, I think it's really, really strong. So you should try it out. Uh, let me know how you feel in the comments below. And uh, be sure to like, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.